All right, it's late night and I'm playing some Diablo because I feel like it. So if you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for tuning in, clicking all that stuff. Uh, that is on Twitch this time. So, all right, I'm just going to run around and do some dungeons. I've progressed a little bit. Not too much, but I've headed further south. Okay, um... I also know how to read this map a bit better, so... Let me just see. Basics, we want that one. We would definitely want that one. Um... Alright. Because then I can mess around with my build a bit more. Anyway, I did swap a little bit. Um, I'm currently leveling up the one-handed mace expertise. So, like, the twin stuff. But what I found, just because of what I have, it is working better than only just swinging the big hammer around. It's like, swinging the big hammer around makes me tanky, but then if I go around with these... It just seems to do more damage overall, so... At least for now. So, the attack rate is much quicker. It feels pretty good. But yeah, you'll see. It's more hammers. <laughs> Just tiny hammers now. It's still a massive one when I do the quake thing, but it works better, I think. seems to stun a bit more consistently. I don't know. The one thing it doesn't do is it doesn't fortify me as much, but I think sacrificing the tankiness works at the moment. Timing! Timing! Alright. <laughs> Looks like I got a freebie for once. Someone using whirlwind. That's interesting, they're using Whirlwind and Hammer. Yeah, I'll take a freebie. Seems to be a lot of people here. Why? Is, it, is everyone just going for this dungeon that I picked out? What is this? It's just a chest that just appeared here. Good 
gloves. Okay, they're, they're just running. They're leaving everything behind. I'm climbing down so they don't follow me. Oh, okay. So with this act, I tracked all the quests properly, and yep, when it came down to it, there's three quests that I just can't do. I think it's just, by design, they're leaving three until the campaign's over. Which is kind of annoying, but oh well. Okay, um, let me, should be marking this one, where is it? Just a sec, I'm trying to find that on this map I'm following. There it is, basic skills, grant damage reduction, that's what we want. Oh. Wait, there's a quest in here? No, that's outside. Oh, the sword, I'm good. Uh, yeah, 
that's probably one back here. I'm almost up to the up to the part where I get my horse. I just the last time I played this, I just didn't want to go for it. It just maybe because I was tired. It just seemed like oh no, this is gonna be a whole thing. Just to get there. Potion. Alright, there we go. Smash, smash, yes. Late night, brainless smashing, because I feel like it. How's, uh, how's the day going, Messiah? Yeah, now I'm using little hammers as well, because it seems to work. Nope. I haven't played in a few days, so I think because I slept so much overnight, now I don't feel tired right now. A friend of yours asked you if you wouldn't like to get into Diablo. Ah. Oh. I mean, I've played this multiplayer a couple times, it is fun. It just... I guess it depends if you're into these kind of games. The thing is... There's two kind of Diablo players. There's ones that kind of take their time, and there's ones that, like, get sweaty and try to get to the late game as quick as possible. And take it super seriously. And you've never played something like that before. Okay. Out of fury. My burden is I mean, as long as your friend's willing to guide you and isn't just like, hey, let's get to the end story, end of the story, quickly, I think you'll enjoy it. If you enjoy just 
clicking around and collecting gear and just starting weak and then building something that's strong eventually. If it scratches that itch, then yeah, it's a fun game. If you really get into it and you want to do stuff, you can also play here. Like, I don't say that. Hang on. What am I getting rid of? This, you. Uh, debating whether I should go back or not. Hmm. <laughs> I'll just keep going. I'll be lazy. Oh, yeah. All right, I need to move. I need to make this count. It's not here, is it? It's not here. Oh, it's not here. Okay, let's clear stuff. Probably my favorite one. Game beginner friendly. Ah! Uh, I guess because I haven't played the base difficulty, I think that one's aimed at it. But I mean, even this difficulty wasn't too punishing. Like, I kind of picked skills that worked, I thought worked, and then just experimented a little. There's definitely things that will kick your ass, but that, there's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> like, I've played so many hours of this kind of game, and yeah, it's just even... Even me, things kick my ass. I, I think if you have a, some people to play it with, it makes for a good social experience. Playing it solo is like, if you're into the genre, you'll enjoy playing it solo, but it is a good social experience, especially when you start uh, sharing items or uh, like talking about what you're going for. I don't know. I don't know if you caught the times I play with my moderator here, but we have fun. My bags are full. Like, we've had a few sessions here on the stream. What the fuck is this last one? Oh no, it says travel. I got it. Alright, never mind. I guess the other question is, like, if you're going to buy it or not, or if you're being gifted the game. Because if you're buying it, it is quite the expensive game, considering. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't have a demo. I think a, a way you could tell is if you do like this genre. Because they have sales on Diablo 3. And 3 is the older one. It's like, well, it's not quite this one. The gameplay loop is, is similar. So that might be a cheap way to find out if you're into the game. Or the style of the game first. Boom. 
what I mean, if the person you're going to play it with, uh, if you enjoy spending time with that person, that might not matter. That might be enough to carry the experience. Sometimes it's less about the game and more about the people you play it with. Get stunned! Going back to town. Anyway, I don't know. I hope it helps. <laughs> I think this is a fun game. But I'm into this stuff. Oh yeah, well, check if it's a transmog first. I forgot to change my character style because I reached a new area. Wait, oh, you're the one. There we go. No transmog. Alright. It is a deal. Win favor. Thank you. Oh wait, I forgot to... Nah, and that. There we go. Hmm. Yeah, damn, I mean, even that. <laughs> even with the thing that I just got, I think the one I have is still superior. Let me see. Uh, aspects. Where is it? The. Yep, I mean, this is just if I can't get anything else, I guess. Do you block on this game and just face tank everything? I believe the only ones that use shield currently are necromancers. Um, but there's like... There's concepts that, whilst not blocking, it still equates to tankiness, like fortification and energy shields, so... With this class, you just face tank everything. Alright, I'm gonna change my style a little, since I started a new act. 
Oh, what's a cool helmet? It's just, I think the back of it. Got this one, I guess. Does the color? Oh, color does affect it. Wow. I mean, not a whole lot, but that makes sense because it's a metal. Maybe that. I'll be fine. Ah. Uh... I guess I have to go with something more armor-like, right? Yeah, they don't really have anything that fits that description, eh? There's that, but... Eh, eh. Oh, you're the one commenting on all the Tears of the Kingdoms videos, right on. <laughs> Welcome. Yeah, I'm not usually up this late, but I've had a long week, and, uh, I slept a lot last night, so I'm not tired, and I've been playing this quite a bit. Yeah, I just finished up playing Zelda, like, maybe half an hour ago. Yeah, let's just go with that. Alright. I just want to refresh my look. That looks good. Alright. I don't know why I just go with stuff that's... Monet's just one color. Duotone or Monotone. I just feel like it looks better. I think that looks, that looks fine. Alright, um... Ooh, I got a new hammer. I'll go with the new hammer, and then... Blade, let's... Sure. I mean, I gotta give it to them, like... For encouraging a cosmetic shop, they still make the default stuff look decent. <laughs> I can, I can put a, uh... Wait, how do I... It only I don't want to zoom down there, I want to zoom up here. There's, there's a doggo in the back chat. Now this character has... A hammer, a sword, and two more hammers. It's like the weapons master. It's cool. Nah. Alright, I'll go to that. That'll do. And then if I get bored of this look, I can swap back. Alright. Uh, cause it's like... I think that's the cool thing about what they've done with the Barbarian this time around. Alright. Uh, let me look. Which one's the most beneficial? I've done that one, I've done that one. When you freeze an enemy, there's a 25% chance to become vulnerable. That's probably sorceress, right? Yep. 
Uh, whenever you deal direct damage while berserking, inflict bleeding. I'm not really using bleed damage. What else have I got? Uh, that is rogue. I might get that because I do want to make a rogue at some point. That's another rogue one. That's another rogue one. Necromancer, while at full health, blood orbs grant essence. Druid. That's a barbarian one, but it's like... I guess if I want to do the build where I'm just jumping around like a maniac. Uh, that's sorceress. Iron skin grant. Okay. I mean, eh. Oh, hello. Your shout skills generate two fury per second whilst... That seems useful. Hang on. Oh, but see, that's the next area. Alright, I'm not going to be pedantic about it. <laughs> I'm just going to go get it because it's useful. I'm trying to clear the area before I move on, but that one just seems too useful. I'm pretty behind compared to most people. I just haven't been playing this as much as uh, others. Like I know people that are, are at level 70 and I'm barely at 55. Does it matter? Uh, no, not really. What happens with this game after, you know, they do the launch period, uh, they have this thing called a season, which every few months, um, you know, people start their characters again and they have this thing going where everyone starts from level zero and it starts on a particular day and then you just get to level 100 as quick as you can and there's a leaderboard, but then they usually have some special thing going on that Makes the gameplay a little different. Like maybe there's an event, or maybe they introduce some new items. It's, that's pretty much the the replay value in this game is like it releases, you play the story, and then every few months they'll release a season and you come back to play it, and then you go ahead and leave again. Do I do that? Uh, in Diablo 3, I did it a lot. But then, as the game got older, I stopped doing it and would only play it, like, maybe once every four. It, dep it depended, because I had friends that still played it. And so, when they wanted to play it, I was like, yeah, I'll hang out. I'll, I'll play this season. It's been a while. Um, so that's pretty much what they're gonna do with this one. They've already said they got two major expansions on the way for it as well, because of how successful it's been. I have a gaming PC sitting... wait. I have a game sitting on my PC for an entire month. Nah. I mean, the beauty of the internet connection I have is, like, I can uninstall and reinstall this game pretty quickly. I have gigabit downloads, so downloading, say, 50 gigs really does not take that long. It's like a few minutes. That's just me, personally, but there are some people that just will play this and play nothing else. Um... Because remember, it's like, there's six different classes. Wait, six or five? It may be five. 
I keep thinking it's the other game, but there's a, there's a not there's a different class you can pick every time. So I guess there's the other replay value is like trying a different class and seeing what it has to offer. Like, if whacking things with a big stick is not your way to play, then you could always be someone that shoots lasers. Yeah, for me, it's just, I guess, it's just turn your brain off. That's how it is for me with this game. And just finding stuff and thinking about how I'm going to make my character. I enjoy it. I also tend to just listen to music and kick back when I play this game. Or games like it. Nice thoughts, empty head. Yeah, sometimes it's, it's a bit like that. checking yeah honestly if I had more people to play this game with I think I'd play it more <laughs> it's just I play it a lot already but I think this the social aspect this time around is limited because the people I used to play Diablo 3 with they kind of don't really play games anymore so it's like Smaller. I don't play any more games and they're sad, you know how it is. Yeah. I mean, it's for a, mul it's for a multitude of reasons. So, you know, that's it's just life. You know, stuff just... Stuff just moves on. I think it's fine as long as it's not for the reason where you think adults shouldn't play games, because I know someone that that's the reason they stopped playing games was their partner did not like them playing games and Yeah, that's that's a big oof. They thought that uh, games were just for immature children, well, man-childs, I guess. Pretty toxic. I 
stamina, man. Like, just let people enjoy what they like doing. It's not harming anyone, just leave them the fuck alone. Just... Everyone has their things that they enjoy personally. And sometimes, whilst it might not seem rational to you, as long as the person is enjoying themselves and it's not harming anyone, just... Why try to take that away from them? Adults can only do taxes and be sad. Yeah, I forgot. Guess I'm not an adult, huh? I'm at, about, like, just only doing taxes. I do my taxes, chat, but that's not the only thing I do. Sorry, I was just drinking my beverage a little. These explodey things need to go away. Oh, okay. <laughs> I tried. Oh, that's it? I didn't have to fight a boss on this one. Alright. Let me see if I can bring that into my build. You see no difference between playing games and watching sports on TV. I see- I definitely see a difference. Do you know what the difference is between the two? Depending on the game, of course, but... Watching sports on TV is completely brain passive. You are not doing critical thinking. You are not doing anything. Really. Some people might do critical thinking in the sense of, like, theory crafting in sports. I'm sure that's a thing. But for the most part, it does not involve a lot of critical thinking. Games make you think, man. Like, of course, there are ones that don't make you think. But they make you read. They make you solve problems. They make you do a bunch of things that keeps your brain active. It's not, it's not quite the same in my eyes. It's like, if it... Sports is- sports is like junk food. Watching sports is like junk food. That's the best way I can describe it. And there's nothing wrong with it. If you enjoy it, that's fine. But don't shit on people that like to play games, thinking that's better. One is- oh, you meant one being considered more adult? Sure. I still think it's flawed. I had this discussion with someone before who was just did not understand why people would watch anyone play games. Anything you know, the their point. rationale was, why would you watch anyone play games? It's like, such losers, not, not actually playing the game themselves. And I just was like, okay, so you sit down on the couch, you watch sports, you don't think for yourself, you're not doing problem solving or anything, and... Of course, you're not out there playing the game on the field either, so why are you- why are you watching sports for? Could it be you're watching it because you enjoy- you enjoy it and it, it brings you happy and, you know, finding happiness in this world is, uh, is something you should try to hang on to where possible? Maybe that's why you watch sports and, I don't know, maybe you should just leave people alone, hmm? Where is the... Wait, why did it bring me here? Oh, no, because the main town hasn't... Yeah, okay. That's why. I was so confused for a sec. I was looking for the... The occultist and did not realize. You're a loser? Stop it. You're not. It's just people like that just... Man. They're just set in their ways and... Those are the kind of people that just sit on a couch and watch sports or they'll play Candy Crush on their phone and call us losers. Who's the real loser, honestly? Hmm. 
no, to be, no one, no one is a loser if they're doing something they enjoy. And finding joy in something. You're not a loser for that. That's, that's, you're just human. That's, that's what we all try to do. It's just, those people don't want to understand that that's just our form of it. Um... So what what can this be attached to? Hang on. Is this a oh it's a ring thing. Hmm. I mean this one's not really bringing me that much bin in the fit, maybe. It's okay. Wind favor you. But yeah, I mean, I, I, I point out the difference as well when the people that call people that watch games losers, the stuff they watch, they're not participating, man. It's like, do you know what I mean? They're just sitting there and doing nothing. Whereas in here, yeah, you're watching me play a game, but you're talking to me. You're talking to others. You're having a social interaction and it's just, it's not just with people that are in your immediate circle. It's like, you get to meet people from all over the world. You get to expand your horizons compared to just sitting on a couch and talking to the same people you talk to week by week. And there's nothing wrong with either. It's just don't shit on the other. I know I'm kind of shitting on the other a little bit. I'm aware. But, like, I'm doing it facetiously just to make a point. <laughs> uh, I'm aware of the irony a little. It's okay. Yeah, I don't know if it's people like liking to feel superior. I just... Some people are just so nosy, man. Like, they just... They can't just let something exist without offering their opinion or just... Because it's different to what they believe, they just have to point it out. It's just, I don't know, man. If it's got nothing to do with you, why? Okay, uh, hold on. I need to mark this dungeon as done before I forget in the next map. Okay, there we go. Um, alright. Well. I guess I just go around and pick some dungeons, because I think I got the barbarian ones in the immediate area. Um, I'm not going to play Cold Sorceress. You know what, I'll get this one in case I want to change my build. That's the only other one. If I make if I may quote like an old TV show, it's like, wouldn't it be nice if you could go somewhere where everyone knows your name, and they're always glad you came? Now that TV show was well before my time, but I think it makes a, a point. That's kind of what streams offer to some degree. <laughs> there you go. Cheers. Yeah. And it's just, that's all it is, man. It's, this is just our form of connection, our form of entertainment, our form of just finding happiness. It might differ to yours, but that's, that's fine. Yeah, my dad was a fan of, um, Cheers and just that kind of comedy, so. I watched a, a bit of it as a kid. Don't remember a lot of it, but later on I watched some episodes. Still holds up.
Ah, it's already worn off. I think my brain just like stopped for a minute. It's just okay. The, the thought-provoking conversation is over. Just just rest for a minute. Smash shit with hammer. <laughs> just back to caveman brain. I'm gonna get rid of that cooldown one because it doesn't seem to affect the shouting as much as I would like it to. There's been rumors about the uh, the Zelda movie, but there are people swearing that there are plans to make one now because of the Mario movie being so successful. And the movie studio is coming out and just flat out denying it. Which of course they're going to, but I think the thing to look at here is apparently there was a Zelda anime show, another one, that was supposedly in the works and then it got cancelled internally, and they're saying the reason it got cancelled was because it was leaked. So, it's just like... Maybe that's why they're denying the existence of the Zelda movie, which means there's a Zelda movie. Yeah, think about it. Well, apparently, I don't know, this is just like me perusing the internet so grain of salt at the highest level right but the rumors have been circulating that um because of how well the mario movie went that uh zelda's gonna get a movie I think it'd be cool to see that. It's just it would be interesting to see how they handle the silent protagonist thing, you know? It's either they're gonna make him talk or he's gonna be a silent protagonist. I don't know. What story would they tell? That's a good question. If they were to make the most amount of money, I would say either A Link to the Past or uh, Ocarina. Like, you, you hit them with the nostalgia. Or if they want to go with Origin Story, then probably Skyward Sword. Because that's chronologically the first, I believe, so... It's probably going to be one of those three. It's going to be a cash pinata with something with high levels of nostalgia, or they're going to like try and make a cinematic universe out of it, and they'll go with Skyward Sword to set that up. I don't know. It's hard to say. And 
whether they would go live action or go animated. I'm not sure they could do live action. Don't think they would go for Scout because it's not a game that's loved by all fans. Uh, it's, it's one of those games that have, has grown on people, surprisingly enough. It's something that got a lot of hatred back in the day, but I think nowadays it's more accepted. And it's not really about the game, it's- I think if, if they just use the fact that it's first chronologically, from a story perspective, that's enough, and then just throw in a few references to other stuff, they'll be fine. But like, take Wind Waker for example, when that game came out, or was announced at the very least, people were not happy. And yet now, anytime I hear about Wind Waker, it's just held in such high regard. And I think I kind of hear the same about Skyward Sword. It's something that people say has some of the best dungeons in, you know, the... The one with the dungeon formula, I don't know what to call it, but... A lot of people say that Skyward Sword has excellent dungeon design. Just the motion control thing is its biggest letdown, but even then, it's grown on people. Oh, and Fee. <laughs> Just... Fee is the other thing, but, uh... Yeah. I thought Skyward Sword was good. Just... At the time when it came out, I was just so burnt out on motion control stuff. It was getting annoying because they were putting motion controls in games for the sake of doing it. Just because it was on the Wii. And when they announced that game and said it was like... Heavy on the motion controls... I skipped it for that reason. I had already... I, I planned to play it later, but then I moved out and, um... The Wii stayed with my younger brothers, because I wasn't going to take it with me, so... Yeah. I didn't get to play it until, uh... The remaster. When I did the whole play every Zelda game thing. I thought all of, all of it was, like, very nice looking and just the dungeon theming was good. And there were some fights whilst motion control oriented. They were satisfying. say they would have to do the movie animated. I just think there's too much, um... There's too much of a stigma behind live-action adaptations. There just have not been many successful ones later. I think the latest adaptation with some semblance of success was The Witcher and Castlevania, but then... For every good ap adaptation, you have, like, six bad ones. <laughs> or, in the case of anime, there's, like, a 90% chance it's gonna be a bad one. Witcher was already trying to look as real as possible. Yeah, exactly. There was a bit of liberty behind it. Because it wasn't too much of a stretch to make the leap. Castlevania was a good adap adaptation because it was animated. I think if they would have tried to go live action, it wouldn't have worked. Where did you come from? 
Let's see if I can do this. I haven't been capable of doing one of these, so let's just see if maybe my character's grown with this build. It still inherently has the same problem as like if... This leans towards multiplayer a lot. It's not that my character can't do damage, it's just these things are so evasive. And so, yeah, I'm sorry, some of these masteries are just such, such bullshit. They're not designed for a single player. I've, I've only managed to kill one and the time is almost up. Well, that's what you mean, why aren't you playing in a group of five, huh? Don't you have friends? I'm not ready yet. You're missing out on a social experience like no other. What? Oh, okay. I think it just lagged a little. Yeah, that didn't work. But I wanted to try. I did three. It's definitely better than before. It's just... It's still skewing heavily towards multiplayer. Which I, I guess... Oh, it's just a head. Alright, cool. I keep thinking back to the Garfield video I watched today, chat. <laughs> those don't know, I watched the video today during lunch. Don't ask how I came across it. I'm sure it's just the algorithm knows that I'm weird at this point, but... It's just a one hour discussion on this dude talking about a comic strip from Garfield from 1970 something. And it talks, he talks about how it fundamentally changed his, his life. It's a post, it's, it's a massive shit post, it's not real, but the guy goes into just philosophy and just existence and the human pursuit of happiness and just a bunch of fucking tangents and how Jim Davis has just created the perfect thing. And I listened to the whole thing, I did, I really did. Because that's the kind of person I am. that don't let you attack. Philosophy and Garfield. No, I'm not, I'm not kidding. Like, if you want some brain rot, I can link it. <laughs> Maybe at the end. It's an hour long. I don't blame you if you don't get to the end of it. However, it's just... I think it's kind of incredible because I think... It just seems like it was, uh... It was a one-take thing, like, they just got this actor to sit there and just do this discussion. It just doesn't sound like it was edited at all, it, which makes it impressive. Uh... Yeah, let's go. Which one was that one? That one was... The Whirlwind one, right? No, Berserking, Bleed Damage. Yep, that's the one. Mark it off. And there was one part of it that just... It, it made me laugh <laughs> like a maniac. Because I'm a graphic design nerd, but like... He goes into how John Arbuckle, the way he's drawn in the comic... It's just the perfect drawing because it's golden ratio. 
And so the dude poses John in the golden ratio formula and just keeps spinning it. And oh man, <laughs> it's just stop brain rot. Plus one rank to all brawling skills. All right, hang on. Brawling. I keep forgetting. Basic, core, defensive. This Greetings. is brawling. It would give it to sh shout. Okay, this is a curiosity. Is it skills or does it include passives? Let's see. That's core. Okay, no, I see. So it doesn't include passives. E well, that's 510, and that's... It's not even that much of a difference. Alright, never mind. Garfield and Shrek are beyond memes now. They're just part of internet culture. Yes, the internet ruins a lot of things. See, I managed to stay away from Shrek. Simply because I had a younger a younger brother. Both of them actually. They loved loved the first movie when they were little. And they would just constantly want the movie on on the TV. So yeah, they grew up. But I I just I cannot see anything Shrek related. I, I just can't. Because it just takes me back, like, every fucking day that movie was playing. <laughs> Sometimes multiple times. I, I think I know it off by heart at this point. Or at least the key parts, it's just, yeah. Oh, man. Uh, let me look. Caltrops also, yeah, I kind of wanted to go for a Caltrops build, but go right here. Hold on, I'm just checking something real quick. From a map perspective... Okay. Um, so this is the one I'm going for, right? E that's Bone Spear. Oh. Now I'll do this one first. All right, listen, it's not that I don't like Shrek. I I like it. Like, when I... I saw that movie when it came out at the cinema, and it was great. I thought it was funny. The animation was great at the time, right? Like, pretty awesome. But if you, if you see something every damn day, every day... If you ever had a job in, say, retail where they're playing... The same music CD or the same damn DVD on the on the TV screen, and you're just hearing the same shit over and over and over again. It can can affect the, how much you enjoy that. Why is the loading screen black? It shouldn't be. Unless maybe it has trouble capturing it. Let me watch it. I'm watching the little preview window. Maybe because I, I tab out. That might be the other thing. I sometimes tab out during loading screens. Okay, the preview is really behind as well. No idea why. We'll get there in a minute.
Oh, I have to get everything. Yeah, no, the loading screen I saw just then, there was, uh, there's a door, so... Ah. Streaming for eight hours. <laughs> Alright, I mean... It is a bit of a longer one today because I just could not go on yesterday after Donkey Kong. I was just that tired. But hey, that, uh, it's done now, so... Blast wave. Donkey Kong seems to drain me a lot. It's just coincidentally, I played Donkey Kong 2 during a very busy period during work, and it's just some of the stages they're difficult and requires a lot of focus. It's not specific because of Donkey Kong. Like, today it was fine. That's because I slept. I slept well last night. So, I was good to play that today. If you're playing the same level for an hour and the only thing you were looking for in the level was in the last 30 seconds of the stage yeah it would probably get draining after an hour because that's certainly what happened to me i was doing a level for an hour just so in the last 30 seconds of the stage i could have an attempt of getting a single coin What am I going to play tomorrow? Uh, I don't think I'll start something new. I might go back and touch on something that I haven't finished yet. Because there's a couple of things that I've kind of left in limbo. That I need to resolve. Definitely won't be Donkey Kong, I'll tell you that much. No, even though I slept eight hours, there was another stage that took an hour. <laughs> so... Whilst it did not affect how well I played, or maybe it did... Um, at the very least, I mean, here I- I'm still here, right? It's like three in the fucking morning and I'm still awake. I think at one point I called something a cunt, so I don't remember what. <laughs> Just... It reached that level. That's when you know the Australian is frustrated. Just when the, uh, the Aussie filter just, yep, gets turned off for a minute. It's 
Too tender, damn. Yeah, Australia's time zone is really, really just inconvenient. For growing an audience on Twitch, <laughs> it really is. It's okay, I mean... I make do. One thing about, um, so, you know, the, been getting some weird news from Twitch lately. Right, from Twitch, it's just, they're making strange decisions. Meanwhile, uh, on YouTube's end, when I went to upload the, uh, the VODs for Donkey Kong yesterday. Wait, what the fuck? It's not opening it. Um... They've changed the requirements for YouTube partners, and they're now less than what they used to be. So it seems like that... Almost seems like that would be more realistic than becoming a Twitch partner, which is kind of funny. Because YouTube's metrics are a bit different, and like... It works off watch hours, it works off subscribers, and... Um, what was the other metric? But the point is, like, as long as you appease the algorithm on YouTube, there's a chance you can become partner, which, good. It's, it seems more realistic than what Twitch's is. So while Twitch may have done a bunch of stuff to, like, annoy people, YouTube is like, no, no, hey, come over here. Why are there so many goats, man? I got knocked. Okay, this is why, this is why, this is why, this thing here, this thing here keeps summoning them. Why, why are they healing so quickly? Oh my god, what is this healing? Jeez. Okay. Man. Thank you. I, I got it done. <laughs> but it's it's not even a major it's not even a major achievement, it's just like a side quest thing. Okay, well now the dungeon's done. Um, let me just pick up whatever was here since I'm leaving. Alright. What do you know you need to this game? <laughs> it's alright. Just... Such a minor thing and it took forever. I'll salvage this time around, because I got a bit of money. Alright, I think I'll do one more dungeon. I just have to pick it. Hang on, how long is the VOD for this so far? An hour and twenty. Alright, cool. That works. I try to make things at least an hour and a half long. 
Ah, uh, let me let me look. What have we got? I guess if I cave into s cold sorceress, which is always a possibility. It's supposedly cold is just insanely superior to the other elements, so it's later on not worth trying anything else, which is a bit sad. Could have had pancakes. Nope, I ate a lot. Uh, I am so full I would not have made them. Because I, uh... Yeah, I had basically a coffee and, like, something minor all day, and that was it. And then finished work and just went out and ate and caught up with someone, and we just ate a lot. <laughs> Still feeling it, and it's like three in the morning. I wouldn't have made anything. That's why I didn't make tea or have cheese or anything like that. It's just, I'm, I'm full. Wait, which one is this one? Hold on, I'm trying to find the reference spot to the map. My chat seems to love this pancake. No, just certain subset of people. It's just... I don't... I can't even remember how it started. I wouldn't be able to explain it. It's just one of these things. Buh. Okay. Right, I found that on the map. Next Friday? Uh, next Friday? No, because I am going to a work function. And we're going to an all-you-can-eat, uh, Chinese place. So, again, I will probably be, uh, just incapacitated with food. Because we've been all been working really damn hard, so... We're kind of going out to, uh, just chill and celebrate for a bit. I honestly don't remember. I mean... The dino nugget thing just came as a discussion about chicken nuggets. And just childhood, how, uh, yeah, dinosaur-shaped ones were a thing. Except for me, because we just grabbed whatever was the cheapest ones. So I followed through on that. And then the pancake thing, I'm sure it was something along those lines, and... People are like, let's have a pancake party. And so, I tried to, but it kind of failed colossally. And now I'm not quite sure when I'll be able to try it again, if I ever will. Because uh, I don't have a public holiday or a weekend, at the very least, where I don't have something on for a while. I just, yeah. That weekend was the one. What is, oh, it's a face shrine. Okay.
Wait, really? Oh, what is that? It is a ring. I'll check it out in a minute. Restore two of your primary resource when you crowd control an enemy. When I stun an enemy. That is, uh... Probably going to be more useful. Plus five maximum fury. Though this one has better... S uh, this one has better stats. Gives me health. And... Ugh, it's a better ring. The other one has a better passive... Well, I'll just say what I said last time. It's like, I'm not going to do it if it's just like a one-person thing. And pay attention to Discord. Because if it's like a no-reply thing, then I, I'm not going to... I'm not going to go through with it, most likely. I'll probably just play Diablo like last, like last time with Lelo. Wait. Oh, it doesn't show up on the map. Ugh. Alright. Oh, it's here. Idiots. You're applying for the future? You can't do that. You can't RSVP to something you don't know the date of yet. It's like perpetual RSVP. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? Oh. I thought I had not found the exit, but it's over here. It's over here. It's over here. It's just... The fog of war just conveniently looked like a straight edge. Like a wall. You know one thing I didn't take into consideration? So the thing I bought has enough to make, I think it said 15 pancakes on the bottle. Now, I'm not going to eat 15 pancakes in one sitting. At most, I'll eat two, if not... Yeah, probably two. Which means I had, like, the bottle says once opened, consume within three days. So it's, it's like, I have to be making them for the next three days, basically. Unless it's, it's... I hate wasting stuff, man. Even if it's, if it's just effectively sugar batter, it's still... Make a waffle? Ugh, no waffle iron. Unless there's like some makeshift way to make it. Waffles just aren't a big thing here. I'm, I'm sure people have them, but it's, it's not as widespread as you would think. Hmm. 
eaten waffles once in a hotel in a New York trip. Didn't like it. Yeah, I'm not sure how good hotel waffles have, would be. I had fried chicken and waffles at this, uh, like, restaurant. And it was pretty good. I mean, a bit... It was a bit much. Like, just very, very thick and cakey, I guess. They were a little crispy, but it was just... Man. I just, I don't think I'd be able to eat one for breakfast. It just seems like way too much food. It'd be something that I would want to split with someone. That you can eat the whole bottle. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure I could as well. I just would not feel good afterwards. I'd regret it. I'd probably take a nap or something. Oh, you thought it was one of those things that you see Americans eat or drink in TV shows that only they like it, like Dr. Pepper. Hey, Dr. Pepper's not bad. Dr. Pepper's pretty decent. I don't mind Dr. Pepper. It's just like a, a very infrequent thing. Which reminds me, uh, I heard that there's like a Dr. Pepper strawberries and cream or something like that. I'm intrigued. Uh, where am I going with this? Alright. Yeah, a friend told me about it. Dr. Pepper, strawberries, and cream. It, it, it is a thing. Out of stock here in Australia, at Americans. Oh, the sugar- <laughs> there's, there's a place called the Sugar Shack. Okay, I can- I can purchase it from this place. It's honestly, honestly not bad in price. It tastes like medicine, I can understand that, yeah. I tried it once as a kid and I thought exactly that, I didn't like it. But then I tried it as an adult by accident, and I was like, oh, this is alright. Maybe, maybe because I got older, old people just like medicine flavor, I don't know. But uh, as a kid I did not like it, I, I really didn't care for it, it was just not great. Um, yeah. Alright. Let's go back to town. Target has it. You're gonna have to make a target run. Yeah, so... My friend said it's really good, and it's really good to use as a mixer. So, like, if you put a bit of rum in it, uh... It's, uh, yeah. You can have a spicy Dr. Pepper. Yeah, from the looks of it, it's only in cans. Okay. Oh, oh my, oh, my software. That one was a short one, so fuck it, I'll do another one. Um, that was the... The sorceress one, right? Yes. Okay, it's... I'll go do the, this one next to the waypoint. Where is it? This one. 
I don't have to run far. It's a necromancer one, so you never know. They have zero sugar ones too. I might have to look into that. Just because American sodas use high whatever fructose corn syrup, which is uh, no bueno. I mean, it's, I'm sure it's fine in moderation, but... You bought a two-liter bottle, tasted one cup, and spilled the rest in the sink. Your father almost falls you to drink the whole thing for wasting money. <laughs> but see that? Yeah, I mean, that's... That's one of those things where it's just like, if you haven't tried something, go with the smaller quantity. Don't get burned like that. Wasting a two little bottle, yeah, that's... Don't blame him. If it was just a single can, it'd be like, ah, who cares, that's... That's fine. You know, when I was trying some of these cheeses, I'm not gonna lie, I was really, really worried that I'd get one of them and then be like, oh, I absolutely hate this, and then be stuck with just this large amount of cheese that I didn't like. It hasn't happened. Especially since some of them smell just like pork. But they taste good. Very similar upbringing, just <laughs> don't waste anything. And it still, uh, still has overlap as an adult, even though I don't have to worry about some of the stuff that my parents had to worry about. Go young, sip with money, and on a trip in another country with a different language. You saw the ball, recognize the brand and went for it. Yeah. Right. It's just one of those things, it's just, it's not a, it's not a big deal, but I can understand where your dad was coming from, especially because I think my parents probably would have done something similar. I'm surprised that um, I'm able to find this Dr. Pepper flavor relatively cheap because usually places will try to sell it for like four or five dollars a can, but three dollars fifty a can, that's not too bad. If I can see other stuff they have, I might just buy a couple cans just out of curiosity and then maybe a, a few other snack foods from there. You're learning to drink tea now. You're trying to find a flavor. Like, you're drinking black tea because it has caffeine. You need it to survive. Okay. Um, I mean, I, I can recommend stuff. Um, I mean, it depends what, what you're into, but like... And what's available, I guess, is the other thing. Um... But the ones that I like, I like uh, Japanese Sencha tea. It's 
it's pretty good. It's a green tea, but then sometimes they have um, flavored sencha tea. So there's one I got that has like a strawberry flavor to it that's pretty good. Um, tea that ha herbal tea that has like a lavender lavender in it is pretty good for nighttime. Um, if you want, yeah, like any ginger, like lemon and ginger, lemongrass and ginger. That's the one I'm thinking of. That's another one I like. Uh, peppermint's pretty decent. That's that's a black tea, and then they just have peppermint leaves with it. The so English breakfast is like a sweeter tea, but they also have variants on it. You can get a New York breakfast, which kind of takes tastes like maple, like not maple syrup, like pancake syrup almost. And then there's a ver a variant we've done called the Melbourne breakfast, which. It's a, it's another sweet tea, but I can't really describe it. It's almost like a candy. Um, the New York breakfast is pretty good. It, it it does it does exactly what it is. It, it, it like tastes like breakfast, <laughs> like a pancake breakfast. Yeah, I mean, anything with lavender in it, I think, is legit. Um, and Sencha. It's S-E-N-C-H-A. Sencha. But I would recommend going for the flavored one, unless you like the... Just the taste of green tea. If you're not a fan of the taste of green tea... Um, yeah, try the flavored one. Gotta get all fancy with the tea. I honestly didn't start drinking tea properly until a few years back. It's been more than a few years now. Maybe because of COVID, but you know, just I think right before COVID hit. I started getting into it a bit because I just, I, I don't know, I made it part of the wind down ritual in winter. You'll rewatch the whole later because terrible is starting. That's fine. I mean, I can drop a link to like uh the, the place that well, not the place, the company that I get tea from, and they have a bunch of flavors. So all this stuff is good. Just find something similar. Just look at the ingredients the tea have, and yeah, can't go wrong. I'll do it after this dungeon because I think I'm done after this anyway. Yeah, fancy, fancy. Ah, it's not gonna be bothering me much. It's a little, it'll be quick. Just link the ones that I I get, and then you can kind of work backwards and just find ones that are similar. As long as they have similar ingredients, you'll, you'll get the flavor correct. Yeah, I forgot about chamomile-based ones, but those, those are a bit more common. I don't know, I just associate chamomile with being sick. That's <laughs> Because that was the tea that we were given with honey when we were sick.
One more to get. Had Cam and Wally yesterday before going because they're not one of your favorites. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty, pretty basic. I just don't have it because it's, it's just this association with just being sick. I feel like I, I've never quite had that tea without being sick, so maybe how it tastes is probably different to how it really tastes, if that makes sense. these extra health things. I can't believe they, they just added these again. We also bought one box of raspberry and blueberry tea. Not that good. Yeah. I think when it comes to tea, just... If you want flavor, get flavor from like herbal stuff and not not fruit with, with with like minor exceptions here and there that would be my recommendation like lemon for example is fine No, I'm just going straight for the thing. Come here. Yeah, the vaults will probably be up a little later because I'm going to leave them to upload and then whenever I wake up, I'll do the thumbnail and all that stuff. <laughs> just know that. There might be a little delay on it. But of course there's always Twitch. Alright. Yeah, I mean, you gotta try sometimes. You miss all the shots you don't take, so... Alright. Cool, I mean, just... No progress on the quest, I got one paragon point and then just a bunch of skills everything i'm doing is just going to make it easier for me to play new characters pretty much this character is just going to be setting up the future more or less Fight hard, eh? it must be hard to get an eye-catching thumbnail yeah no i've struggled um honestly i just try to find something where there's action going on i'm not quite sure what to do about it when i played diablo 2 i just made the thumbnail generic but this one has been a bit of a challenge. I'll probably just... I'm not fussed about it, to be honest. Because it's not something that I'm known too much for. So it's kind of just like a... Yep, I guess I'm playing it, so I'm recording it. <laughs> Pretty much. But, yeah, I mean, I'm sure people do enjoy it as well. It's just not like the other stuff, so... Um... Anyway, I'm going to wrap it up here for tonight. Let me just close this VOD off before signing off. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Especially on YouTube later. Uh, buttons for algorithm purposes, whatever whatever I say. I, I can't remember at this point. But thank you for doing that if you have been doing that. It is a big help. More than you would know. Uh, 